Our last stop in Tennessee takes us to Chattanooga for the big one. The Hamilton Place Mall. CBL and Associates Baby. As a CBL original, Hamilton Place opened on August 5th, 1987 with the following anchors, Belk, Parisian, Loveman's, a nine-screen Regal Cinemas, and Sears. Hess's and J.C. Penney would come to the mall a little bit later, but pay attention to Belk, Parisian, Hess's, and Loveman's, because they're going to play a lot of musical chairs in a moment. Profits came into the mall in 1988 by acquiring Loveman's, and then in 1992, they would acquire Hess's and would convert into a dual store anchor. Belk would then depart the Chattanooga market in 1998, selling its store to Dillard's, whom was happy to take over. Around the same time, CBL and Associates began a major overhaul of the mall expanding the food court and improving wheelchair accessibility throughout the mall. Two thousand five would see Belk return to the mall as they acquired profits, taking over their two store operation. A year later, they would acquire Parisian, but would give the space up to Dillard's, allowing Dillard's to have its own dual store anchor. This would be the end of the musical chairs, but you would see the after effects, as Belk and Dillard's have completely different looking anchor pads from their typical looks and layouts. Around May 2008, CBL would announce a multi-million dollar project that would bring in parking garages, a lifestyle center, and touch-ups inside and around the mall. However, unable to cough up all the funding for the project, they compromised with a smaller project. The nearby shops at Hamilton Place would receive a new expansion, bringing in new stores. In 2011, would see the mall formally go through its next renovation, bringing the mall up to the look we have now. Overall, not a terrible renovation, but I personally believe it is inferior to the previous looks. However, this would be a step forward in preserving the mall's longevity. In 2017, H&M would open up a new store, bringing trendy new styles to the people of Chattanooga. But then, in October 2018, Sears announced that the Hamilton Place location would be closing as Sears Holdings entered bankruptcy. Its last day would be on January 6, 2019. However, plans were already in place for Sears' departure. Dave & Buster's and Dick's Sporting Goods. The two would take over the Sears pad, gutting and renovating the building to fit their needs as they would operate the separate floors. Currently, Hamilton Place's future is looking rather uncertain, as the mall's owners, CBL and Associates, prepares to enter Chapter 11 bankruptcy. It is unknown whether the company will emerge from bankruptcy, 
or if their portfolio will be taken and redistributed to banks or other management companies. However, I would expect Hamilton Place to land in the hands of a company that knows what they're doing. Until then, we'll have to wait and see what happens. Overall, it looks like a typical CBL mall, tampered with and completely changed from its original form, like what was done with Haynes Mall. But, like Haynes Mall, CBL has always had a way to do their renovations in a tasteful fashion, so that the mall doesn't look horrendously ugly or bland to the point of Orwellian dystopia. The Hamilton Place looks perfectly okay. And sometimes, that's all you need to please me. I'm also not joking when I say this mall was CBL's baby. If you look at Google Maps, you'll see that this mall is one of the healthiest malls this side of Tennessee. CBL's headquarters is on the edge of the property. And the mall itself not only has a plethora of out parcels, but is also surrounded by a metric ton of retail. I feel mildly confident that this mall will make it okay throughout the year. While touring the mall, I noticed a couple of security guards. I didn't have any run-ins with them, fortunately, but there was one security guard in particular that caught my eye. I could have sworn that he looked a lot like Phil Swift. You know, the Flex Seal guy? And with that connection made in my head, I just kept thinking of the following. To demonstrate the power of Flex Seal, I just saw this kid's GoPro in half and will repair it with only Flex Seal. I might have been seeing things. I know, I'm a little weird. But y'all have to tell me if there really was a lookalike for Phil Swift in that mall. Be mindful, though. Don't bother them. Don't harass them. is just about it for this mall. I apologize we didn't get an elevator ride, but CBL decided to block out all the windows with advertisements, defeating the purpose. Nonetheless, I do hope you enjoyed the video. What did you like about the mall? Did you love it? Hate it? Share your thoughts down below after hitting that like button and maybe sharing the video. And if you want more malls, do subscribe for more. Additionally, you can find me in Mines, and if you wish to make any donations to the channel, you can do so at Kofi. Until next time, this is Doomy Grunt, wishing you and the Hamilton Play Small farewell and good luck in this mad, mad, mad world.
Okay, I lied. We have one more stop in Tennessee.